let's build an awesome Lego dining room complete with curtains, wall table, china hutch, treasure chest, and dining room table. Let's get started. Let's start the base with two 6x16 plates. Place them side by side. Now let's lock the plates together with two 1x10 plates. Put them on both left and right hand sides. Next, take two 1x2x2 two two corner plates. Place them on the top corners. Followed by two one by six plates on the top. Let's fill in the interior with a hardwood floor. Let's start with a one by one plate. Place it in the top left. This is going to be used to anchor down our curtains. Followed by a one by two flat tile. On the other side of the one by two flat tile, place a one by one plate and a one by one flat tile. Let's grab another one by one plate and a one by two flat tile. Set those right there. Let's finish up the row with another one by one plate, a one by one flat tile, a one by one plate. A 1x2 flat tile, and another 1x1 plate. The plates are going to be used to attach the furnishings as well. Let's start on the top left again with a 1x2 flat tile, followed by a 1x6 flat tile. Now I'm going to change the color up a bit on the floor for a wood floor pattern. Let's finish this up with another 1x6 flat tile. You can use any pattern you choose. Let's go down to the third row with a 1x4 flat tile and a 1x6 flat tile. Let's finish it up with a 1x4 flat tile. Now take a 1x8 flat tile, place it on the left followed by a one by six flat tile. On this side let's set down two one by two jumper plates. Now take note that we do not have a center stud or tube in the middle. That's going to be very important for when we attach our windows. I'll show you that later on in the video. So set those right there. Let's proceed with the hardwood floor. Let's place down two 1x4 flat tiles. Let's set down this jumper plate next to the tiles. Followed by a 1x4 and a 1x3 flat tile. Let's level it off with a 1x3 flat tile and a 1x4 flat tile. On the right hand side, let's set down a 1x2 jumper plate. Let's continue on with a 1x6, a 1x4, and a 1x3 flat tile. You guessed it, more tiles. We got a 1x3 flat tile, 1x4. Let's put in another 1x2 jumper plate, followed by a 1x3 flat tile and a 1x2 flat tile. We're almost done. We're getting there. <laughs> now let's set down a 1x8 flat tile for that row. And on the other side of the jumper plate, a 1x2 and a 1x3 flat tile. Just about there. Let's drop down 1x4, 1x6, 
and one by four flat tiles in this area. Let's finish up the last row with a one by six and one by eight flat tile. Let's skip a stud from the bottom. Place a one by six flat tile on the left and another one on the right. Let's place two one by four flat tiles run on top of the previous one by six flat tiles. Let's set this one by six flat tile right in the center. We have five studs on both left and right hand sides. Set down a one by two and a one by three plate on the left, followed by another one by two and one by three plate on the right. There's the floor assembly. Let's start the construction for the beadboard that goes around the dining room with two one by two plates on both left and right hand sides. Now let's set down another one by two plate on both left and right hand sides right next to the previous one by two plate. This is going to give us a nice sand green finish. Finally, let's place down two one by one plates on both sides of the sand green one by two plates. Let's crown off the top row starting with two one by three plates followed by two one by two plates to finish up the top. Finally, let's set down a one by one brick on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. Let's begin the actual construction of the beadboard with two one by two bricks with single groove. Place them on top of one another. Let's set down a one by two plate right in the middle, followed by two more one by two bricks with single groove. Now for the right hand side, let's place a one by two plate. This is going to get a bit fragile, so we're going to have to be really careful with this. Let's take a one by one brick with one knob, place it on the right hand side, like so. Now for the left hand side, we're going to have to do things a bit tricky. Let's set down a one by one plate. if it will go on there, and a one by one flat tile. Make sure that's nice and flat. Finally, take a one by one Technic brick. Place it on the left hand side on top of the stud of the one by one plate. Now we can simply set this assembly down Right on top of the 1x6 flat tile, this gives us a nice beadboard effect. And these two openings for windows. Now this jumper plate is very special, like I mentioned in the previous clip. It does not have a tube in the center. As you can see we do have no tube at all, just four little studs. So you can simply set these right on top of the previous knobs. This part is optional. You could fill this in with two one by two plates if you wish, but I want a little window ledge. So we're going to set those inside. Let's build the left and right hand side of the beadboard for the dining room. We're going to take a one by one brick with one knob and a one by one brick. Set these two on top of one another like so. I'm going to do both left and right hand sides at one time. So I'm going to take another one of the one by one bricks and a brick with one knob and set those on top. So 
This is going to get pretty challenging because I'm going to have to do both of these at one time. So let's just set them like this. So let's take two one by two bricks with single groove, place them on the top one. Now on the bottom, we're going to flip these upside down where we have the brick pattern. Place this like so. Remember, we're going to have to flip these around, so I want to keep everything just like that. Now, we're going to crown off both of these with a couple of 1x2 plates. Then we're going to repeat the pattern. So, two more 1x2 bricks with single groove. Both assemblies. Another one by two plate on both assemblies. It is a bit of a challenge to keep track of the orientation <laughs> of the bricks, especially when you're using the one by two bricks with single groove. Plus, this makes it a bit faster to do to do the tutorial. Let's finish this up here. Get two more. One by two plates followed by two one by two bricks with single groove. Okay. Now Let's place two one by one plates on the top portion. And a couple of one by one flat tiles on the bottom. And to finish up the assembly, two one by one Technic bricks. Placing the assemblies is pretty easy. You want to just drop it down like so, like if it was a regular brick. Same for this side. Now we have a nice beadboard texture. Let's construct the remainder of the walls, starting with a 1x8 plate, place it right in the center. Let's lock these corners in with two 1x2x2 one by two by two corner plates. Let's crown off the top of the beadboard with a few 1x10 plates. And we have a nice decorative border. Let's draw on the left hand side with two one by six bricks. Let's place it one by one brick, top left, followed by a one by eight brick. Now for the right hand side, let's place a one by one brick and two. One by six bricks. Place down another one by eight brick on top of the previous one by eight brick. Let's lock the corners in with two one by two by two corner bricks. Let's place a one by eight brick on the left. And one on the right hand side, followed by two one by two bricks. Fill in these last two areas. Let's place a set of windows down in these openings. So take 
two, one by two by two window with glass. Something inside like so on top of the jumper plates. Let's finish up the top of the windows with two more one by two by two windows. Set down a one by one brick right next to the window on the left hand side, followed by two one by six bricks. Now for the center, let's set down a one by three brick and a one by two brick with two knobs on one side. Set that to center, followed by another one by three brick. The brick with two knobs is going to be used to attach a pitcher. On the right hand side, set down a one by one brick, followed by a one by one brick, a one by one brick with one knob, and a one by four brick. Let's wrap up the last row with two one by two bricks on both left and right hand side, followed by two. one by eight bricks. Now to even everything out, let's set in two one by one bricks. And to lock everything together, let's use two one by eight bricks. Now I like to finish off the top of my walls with flat tiles. So let's start in the center with a 1x6 flat tile. On the left hand side, let's place down two 1x6 flat tiles. The same for the right with two 1x6 flat tiles. Now the dining room has been constructed, let's start with the curtains to go over the windows. Let's start with a one by one brick with one knob. Place two one by one plates on top of the one by one brick with one knob. Now let's set another one by one brick with one knob on top of the previous plates. Set down a 1x2 plate on top of the top knob. Let's finish up the bottom with a 1x2 plate with bow. Let's make sure everything is flattened. Let's fill in this area with a 1x1 flat tile. On the bottom, place a stud. I'm going to use gold for this. Get this a little bit of accent, like a ribbon tied around the drapes to keep them open. And on the bottom, take two round one by one bricks. We're going to need to make four of these in total. I already made the other three in advance. They're universal. You can flip them either way. For the valance, start with a 1x4 brick with four knobs. Let's take a 1x2 modified plate with teeth. Place it right in the middle. Let's take a 1x1 one one plate with one tooth. Place one on the left and another one on the right. Let's finish off those studs with a few one by one half round flat tiles. This part is optional. It's 
hard to keep everything aligned. Let's take our curtain assembly, place them on top of the studs around the window. Now let's fill in the top with our valances. Forgot to mention you had to make two of these. So they just sit right on top of the studs on top. Let's fill in the top with two 1x4 plates. And to lock the curtain assemblies to the wall, take two 2x4 two flat tiles. Let's attach a pitcher to the knobs. I used one of a sailboat. On this stud, let's place a clock. This is right in the center. I want to make sure the clock is right in the middle of these two knobs right here. Now let's add some furnishings to the dining room. Let's build a little wall cabinet with some flowers. Starting with a 1x4 plate. Let's place four 1x1 bricks with one knob on top of the 1x4 plate. Now on this side, let's place a few studs on the bottom, starting with the left and one on the right. Let's set down two one by two by one by two angular plates like so. Let's place a 1x2 flat tile right in the middle. Let's fill in the remaining areas with a few 1x1 one one plates. Let's level this off with two 1x1 one one round flat tiles that like to roll off all over the place. <laughs> now we have a nice set of legs. Let's add some fake drawers on the front, starting with a 1x2 and two 1x1 flat tiles to finish off the area. Place a 2x2 jumper plate in the center, followed by two 1x2 flat tiles on the sides to finish up the top of the table. Set down a one by one dark blue transparent round brick. Let's set a flower stem inside. This flower stem is one of these with the shaft for a minifigure to hold on to. We're going to use it for the vase. And let's finish it off with three flowers. This will add some color to the dining room. Let's construct the china hutch starting with two one by two by two corner plates. Place them as shown. Let's lock the back of the plates with a one by four flat tile. On the front of the plates, let's set down two one by two plate with track. Set down a one by four plate on top of the track plates followed by two one by two plates. Next 
take one one by two brick with four knobs place it in the center let's finish up the ends with two one by one bricks with one knob make sure all the knobs are facing in the same direction where the track is where we have just two knobs on the back let's finish off these knobs with two two by two flat tiles for covered doors let's smooth off the top with two one by two track plates let's take a one by four by three frame let's place it right on top of the track pieces let's fill in the frame with two pearl gold lattice windows let's build the back of the china hutch starting with a 4x6 plate let's smooth off the back with four 1x6 front tiles On this side, we're going to take six studs and we're going to fill in the top six tubes. These are going to look like little plates inside the china hutch. These are a bit of a challenge for me to put inside the tubes. Trust me, this is going to look really good. Now let's set this assembly like so. Now if I can manage to open this up, which is going to be a challenge, we can see the plates. Well, I have no way to open that up. Oh, there we go. Pretty cool. Let's finish up this top with a 2x4 plate. A 1x4 flat tile in the back. Take two 1x1 one one slopes, place them in the middle. Finally, let's take some ice cream toppers, set them on the ends for post. That just does not want to go on. <laughs> there we go. Nice china hutch with plates. Let's add a treasure chest to the dining room, starting with a treasure chest bottom. Let's place a lid on top of the treasure chest. Let's construct some chairs for the dining room table. Take a 2x2x2 two by two by two seat. Let's place some studs on the bottom for legs. These are always a bit of a challenge to get on the bottom. Last one's always a challenge to get on. <laughs> Just can't get it on there. Oh, there we go. We are going to make four of these in total. Finally, let's construct the dining room table, starting with a 4x6 plate. Let's place two jumper plates right in the middle. The jumper plates are going to be used to attach plates or accessories. 
Now let's place two more jumper plates on the left and right hand side. Let's fill in the remaining areas with four 1x2 flat tiles. To finish off the top of the table. Let's flip it over. We need to make a set of legs for this table. Take a stud and a 1x1 one one nose cone. Place the stud on top of the nose cone. Let's place another stud on the bottom of the nose cone. We're going to need to make four of these in total. Skip one stud from the right. Let's place one of the legs down. Let's do the same for the left. This will give us some nice decorative legs for the dining room table. Let's place the table with the flowers in the back, right underneath the pitcher. That looks good. Now let's set the china hutch in. Little treasure chest. And our table. And then we can just set the chairs around the table. This is a really nice dining room. It can be modified to your liking. And it is skilled for many figures. So here we have Jay the Surfer. He needs to take a seat, we'll set him down in one of the chairs, and he does slide underneath the table. Let's raise up his arms. So he does slide in comfortably. Pretty cool. I'm going to put him in the back as well. Sometimes the chairs like to fall down. If you choose, you can always add a few st studs on the bottom. He's ready to sit back and make a meal and make some more legal tutorials. It's got a nice contemporary design. Hope this tutorial helped everyone out. If you like this video, be sure to comment your thoughts and click that like button. To show your appreciation, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of my latest LEGO video content. Check out my other LEGO related videos and visit my social media. Thank you for watching.